That's at a meat vendor who hung up sausages in the shape of the Olympic uh, rings. <laughs> yeah, I believe it. You know, hey, we're up, but we're back up again. Sorry about that. Oh, okay. I must have tapped the button or tapped something on the phone and knocked us off. Uh, sorry about that. Uh, Thumb fingers here. Still trying to get used to this phone. I uh, rigged up a holder today for my phone, but it snapped just before I started, so I got to buy a holder. Uh, tripod for this arrangement here because my hands get a little cramped after a while. And we're out here at 575 Market Street. For those of you who don't know the location, here in sunny San, downtown San. Well, it's getting sunny, San Francisco. Uh, we're right by the Montgomery Bart. And uh, if you would like to come down, we're going to be here until 2 p.m. We welcome your presence. Or if you're working or at home, uh, uh, watch us on the live stream. I think we're going to. Uh, Start the uh, proceedings here. Want to go in while I finish my checking? I can. I can pretty much get it from here. I got it. Then you, she didn't want to see if we get a little closer. Could you speak up? They know I want to buy the trustee, and they want to steal my trustee. They can make money. And they said that, that it, I said I can. I, I want to buy the trustee. Please don't don't sell it. But later they sell. Didn't allow me. They let me know. I don't know when they sell. 
and they just two months up, two weeks time ago. I told them I want to pay off the mortgage. I have enough money to pay for for my 401k and I and some some, some somebody said uh, do me some money. I have enough. But they didn't let, let me stay. They didn't want to, uh, to listen to me because they want to steal my uh, home. Then they can make uh, at least $200,000. If they, uh, they allow me to pay, they have no money to, to pay. That's why they make me foreclosure. It's illegal. It's not, uh, for, I never say I cannot pay. I never happen cannot pay. Until now, for 10, 10 years. If I, I would, if it is not have an army, I can't agree. Because America is freedom and democracy. It's very famous. But uh, this famous country just happened, happened this illegal thing. And they are so powerful that everybody, like the uh, Supreme Court, has them to evict me now. Because, because they don't want to listen to me. What's the fact? We won't let you be evicted. We're yeah, not going to let you be All right. So you're not alone. All right. So are we ready? We're ready. Yeah. Okay. So the plan is we're going to go in there. Nancy's been fighting for three years by herself. And now I think we can do it. <laughs> okay, everybody's going to be going into uh, the bank here at 575 Market Street uh, to uh, hand over some paperwork to the bank to let them know uh, that we stand in support with uh, Ms. Yin Wong and her fight against PNC Bank against her illegal foreclosure. So uh, everybody's getting it together a little bit here. Uh, we're glad that you're joining us. Thanks a lot. If you'd like to uh, chat, please log on to the social stream, and I'd be more than happy to uh, answer any of your questions. And uh, we've been picked up by Occupy Portland. Thanks a lot for mirroring our stream. Uh, we'll do our best to provide you with a clear and concise live stream of the action that's happening here today. I'm talking about what's going right. on for those of uh, Well, we've got the same amount of viewers. Yeah, I've already mentioned it. Keep uh, videoing, dude. Yeah. Keep at it. With my live stream, while it's fairly clear, it doesn't, it's, you know, I've got to edit it heavily to make it look good. Uh, the security's getting a little pushy here at the door. So it looks like some people will be able to go inside. Go upstairs. Go, go, go. They're letting Miss Wong inside. So yes, people are going to be able to go inside. Oh, they put her in. So kidnapping as well as foreclosure. Well, it's a 
about par for the course for the Banksters. Up here we go. Oh. Oh. Somebody else just got in. She's going to stop at the door. Hey, you're locked in there. Hey, you're locked in there. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to stay out here. Rip the covers, rip the covers. Hey, hey, hey. Rip the covers. In our house, 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 in our house,
Switch it up so you can get better. I got it. I got it. I got it, bro. I got a handle on it, bro. They're letting people out of the building. And if you look like a customer or a worker, they're letting you into the building. The cops have no problem protecting these guys' property. Well, I could kind of sympathize with the bank. I wouldn't want a bunch of angry protesters inside my lobby either. <laughs> See the entrance is blocked. Hi, we're down here at 575 Market uh, at a protest that's been organized by Occupy Bernal. If you want more information about what they do, uh, they're uh, primarily involved in proposing the fences. Now it's what just happened. Okay, here we go. So after we stood our ground and refused to leave the police officer. Can everybody hear? Yeah. All right. After we stood our ground and refused to leave until Miss Wong talked to somebody, uh, the police officer who was there called security and they called up to PNC Bank. PNC Bank agreed to send somebody down to talk to us. Yeah. And they. So they'll be talking. Um, Miss Wong was allowed to send one representative, Grace Martinez from ACE, inside Woo! now, Woo! along with an interpreter for Miss Wong, a Hanson who's a who's a foreclosure fighter in the Excelsior chapter of ACE. So Miss Wong will be allowed to make her demands and present her letter. Keep Keep 
Watching uh, foreclosure eviction of Yin Wong. We're at 575 Market Street in San Francisco. Come down. Uh, we'll be here until 2 p.m. It's right off of Montgomery Street Park. Uh, if you can't make it and you're out of town or you're at work, uh, thank you. Uh, please log on to the social stream to tweet and leave comments in chat in this, on the social stream, and I'll be able to answer any questions you have or anything. Uh, that you might want to say or know about here. So, uh, thank you. Uh, if you'd like to uh, tweet me directly, I'm at Freeman Sullivan, F R E E M A N S U L L I B A N. And I'd uh, love to hear from you. Thanks a lot. Never miss a payment. B and B can't be. Took her home anyway. Yes. Wong. Never miss a payment. B and B took her home anyway. So we got Fox 2 down here, so it'll be interesting to watch it tonight. I'm thinking about heading down for the, there's going to be an Anaheim Police Department Brutality Solidarity March, leaving uh, the Ferry Plaza at 6 p.m. If you're interested in watching more live streams, I will be there. And tomorrow I'll be at Univision headquarters at, or not headquarters, but the branch, San Francisco branch, at 50 Fremont Street, and that starts at 6 p.m. So uh, thank you for following our live streams, and uh, stick with us, and we're going to provide you with as much live stream of San Francisco as possible, physically possible. My name's Clark Sullivan, and uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Freeman Sullivan. You can email me, freemansullivan at gmail.com. Uh, Freeman Sullivan is also my Google Plus, and also my Twitter handle and my Facebook page. So I'd love to hear from you. No, I'm sorry? Just hats. Hats and glasses. And beards. Yeah. And beards. Yeah. No relation. Actually, actually, you've heard of pod people and, and, you know, that kind of stuff. We're really aliens. We're slowly taking over the population. Well, that's all. Yeah. Well, we're trying to uh, try to make this place habitable for life. Because right now it isn't. We do this for you. We're down here coming in the action. Uh, I do more interviews, but the issue seems to be pretty cut and dry today. Although I'm going to try and get uh, Miss Long out here as soon as she's uh, available. And uh, it only really seems like the SFPD are doing every, making every effort to be friendly and cooperative with us, so we're not going to knock them for that. We knock them, knock them around for plenty of other things, but not for uh, their uh, attitude today. So we're waiting. Uh, uh, Miss Wong is up going upstairs to meet with the bank management. There should be sending a representative down here in a few minutes to talk with us. So we'll take a little break here. 
Thanks for watching. And we do have one occupier there in the lobby. She's waiting downstairs. We're waiting for Miss Wong. She went upstairs to talk with the bank representatives. Uh, hopefully they'll renegotiate her loan or uh, her mortgage payment. Glad to have you here. Uh, we're down here at 575 Market Street. Crowd of about 30 people. Uh, uh, the person who we're rallying for the foreclosure defense, her name is Yin Wang, and she's upstairs talking to PNC representatives uh, with her interpreter as we are sitting here downstairs waiting for her to come back. Uh, my name is Clark Sullivan, and we're here in San Francisco. Thanks for joining us. Doors locked. Oh, uh, while we're waiting, I guess I'll tell you some of my uh, future live streams are going to be. I'm going to be at the uh, Sharing Sheets, if you could slide up just a little bit. In fact, I'll help you. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. I don't mind helping. No, I got it. I'm, uh, I got it. Has there been any press uh, updates? Are they still negotiating? Oh, they're still upstairs. Uh, who would let him up? Eh? Anyway, getting back to where I was at, uh, I'm going to be at the ferry building tonight at 6 p.m. for the. Uh, Solidarity in March in support of uh, the victims of police brutality. And uh, um, I'm actually covering this event, so that's okay. And uh, at any rate, uh, getting back to where I was again, um, I'll be at the Perry Building at 6 p.m. for the march in support of the victims of police brutality down in Anaheim, California. Also for the gentleman who was shot last Friday. Uh, supposedly, uh, some witnesses said that he was in handcuffs at the time he was shot. 
and uh, so consequently, uh, we're going to be down there for that at 6 p.m. today. And this is going to be streamed over where you're at right now. Let me get rid of this chair for you guys. I'm going to try and stumble around. And I'm also pretty sure that if I hadn't tweeted this out, KTVU wouldn't be down here right now. I said if I hadn't tweeted this out today, KTVU wouldn't have been down here taking pictures. Oh, good for you! Yeah. Well, you know, I'm kind of mixed about having MSM down here at all because generally they slant the stories. They don't give the whole story. And, uh, you gotta try it. Right. It's funny, Channel 2 is Fox, so you wouldn't expect them, but they come to more events than a lot of people. Well, that's because that's their stock and trade. And you bet they made enough money off the Occupy movement, right? <laughs> With all their commercials and whatnot. So, uh, we're actually doing them a favor by, by being here, right, because uh, media models are rapidly evolving and we're evolving away from MSM coverage because it's not complete and it doesn't give us a full picture. MSM is Channel 4? It's all of the uh, multi-major media outlets like NBC, ABC. Yeah, they're all controlled by six different companies here in the United States. Mainstream media. Oh. For those of you that don't know on live stream. But they call themselves like that. Well, that's what we call them. Oh, okay. But MSM. I thought that on the, on the TV or on the on the computer, is that what they call themselves? Yeah. Any major media yeah, outlet, right? No, they call themselves that. Right. And they call MSM. MSM, my mainstream media. And we call ourselves citizen. Yeah, we're citizen journalists or live streamers. And uh, we generally provide more complete coverage about what's going on because we don't censor it or edit it. Edit. Yeah. And we're being carried by Global Rev, uh, Global Revolution TV, which is the, the main Occupy channel. And we're also up on Occupy Portland. Uh, we're up on the Occupy Bay Area United. I'm getting mirrored from a bunch of different places because I did my homework. I don't get any of that on my phone. Oh, you can, uh, to get, uh, if you want to get it on your phone. No, I don't have a phone. Okay. Well, if you have a smartphone for our audience and you'd like to watch on your smartphone. No, I want to watch just on my TV. I mean, my, my computer. Right. Well, if you want to watch it on your smartphone, uh, just download the Ustream TV app and, uh, and that'll uh, get you real set up, and you can watch all the live streams if you like. But if I'm just on a regular computer, what is it? Uh, it's ustream.tv slash channel slash Occupy San Francisco. And that's the main Ustream channel. But I mirror it, mirror it in a bunch of different sites so people can find out about it. While we're, uh, things are a little long in the action, I think I'm going to take a seat again. Take a little break. I'm getting better. And I'm getting more physically fit every day, but my stamina, yeah, my stamina is not where it should be. But uh, we're getting there, and I'm getting healthier. I'll be glad. This has been uh, when I get rid of this chair, it'll be a real liberating experience. You were able to stand and walk a little bit when you're completely chair bound. It's horrible. Oh, I was that way for a while. Yeah, it's horrible. It's exciting for me too. Did you have surgery? Yeah. I had some. Uh, I had a pretty severe leg. I broke my tib and my fib severely. The, the fibula was in seven pieces, and they had to put a rod. Yeah, yeah. And so I'm. It's been almost two years. Really inconvenient. It's amazing how inconvenient. Well, then you kind of stuff you don't realize it until you have it. Myself, I was in a cast part of last summer, and I was like, damn, this is crazy. Yeah, we well, were doing stuff like brushing your teeth and combing your hair. Changing your pants, just like everything well, becomes hand, difficult. It was, your, it was your leg. Yeah. I mean, you're, you, at least you have the top part, but yeah. Yeah, thank God friend, for that. She had one of her arms 
And uh, she could, you know, realize how, how hard it is to do when he sees in Tokyo. I mean, she could walk, but she couldn't do all those simple things like do buttons or anything. Yeah, it's a real pain. But now I'm like healthy enough. And I'm actually going to get uh, going to get out and get on the road in September, and I'll be live streaming from the East Coast, New York, and DC. Bike accident, was it? No, I had one of those five years ago, oh. where I got hit by a truck, and I uh, avoided the bicycle. I got the bicycle almost completely out of the way, and the truck hit about the last six inches of the rear wheel, sent me flying about 20 feet, landed on my hip, and I had a clean break of the hip. That I recovered from in about six weeks, but this has taken me uh, 20. It's 23rd month. And uh, but I'm getting better, and I'm walking around. It's still kind of painful, but I don't really have a choice. And I like well, my condolences. It, the body does want to heal. It really does. Yeah, it's healing. It wants to heal. Yeah, at a certain point, some one yeah. line, it just like at one point, it just stepped on the gas. I just started doing really, really well, really fast, and uh, it was much more. I didn't have surgery or anything. I was just in a cast. But there was a point where it's just my body just said, "Okay, you're, it's time to fix you," and it did. So I had to have that experience of, of uh, healing that way. Your body really trying to fix itself. I hope you sleep enough. Oh yeah. Because that's when your body heals. Oh yeah. Well, I got to. I worked uh, late last night until two, but I, I got up at like 10:30, so I got plenty of rest. I was actually late for one of my appointments, and I couldn't be there, so I had to come right down here. But uh, I love doing live streaming. And, uh, well, we're supposed to be here until one or two, rather. Oh, okay. Right, that's when the protest ends. But I've got the feeling that we're going to be here for a while longer because uh, it's going to take a while for the bank people to come downstairs. Oh, I saw Yin Lee. Wasn't that Yin Lee? No, that was somebody. That wasn't her. Huh? Oh, she, but she's back outside again? Yeah, she's Okay. Okay. It'd be funny to see what the bank said to her. I'm pretty sure that they're going to be more open to, uh, to renegotiating her uh, mortgage now that we've been down here. What do you think? Right? When they see that, uh, usually what, what happens with these foreclosure dealies is that there'll be a bunch of people that'll show up for a protest. The bank will automatically see that there's going to be all this bad publicity. And temporarily, at least, they'll be open to negotiation. Um, it'll be interesting to see what will happen in the coming months, whether they actually uh, we negotiate. Yeah. Here we go. Should update. We're not done. Mic so, um, my check. My check. My check. My check. So, um, the building manager is talking to PNC right now. They're in deep conversation. So, they're not stalling. They are talking, but the security guard wanted us to communicate this with everyone. So, I, I think hang tight. It's very quiet out here. So, um, make sure to be noisy and... <laughs> I guess we're just waiting inside to see what the next steps are, but I think it might be good. Um, let's give it like maybe another four minutes or at least about 20, 30 minutes. No. So, but the building manager is up there. So, um, are you guys ready for a chance? Yeah. 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 All right, I just came up with which I think tells the whole story, which is Yin Wong never missed a payment. PNC. Stole her house anyway. Wow. Never miss a payment. PNC stole, stole her house anyway. Yeah. Wow. Never miss a payment. PNC stole her house anyway. Yeah. Wow. Never miss a payment. PNC stole her house anyway. Yeah. Wow. Never miss a payment. PNC stole her house anyway. Yeah. Wow. Never miss a payment, PNC. Store house anyway, again. Wong. Never miss a payment, PNC. Store house anyway, again. Wong. Never miss a payment, PNC. Store house anyway, again. Wong. Never miss a payment, PNC. Store house anyway, again. Wong. Never miss a payment, PNC. Stole the house anyway! Yay! 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 Yay!
Yeah, there you go. Free you guys, the corporation. You know you're, you know you're like living in hard times. Where it's pretty like a bank that steals your house is only pretty now. It's not even very now. I mean, but in real life. PNC, you dirty louse! Don't throw in Wong out of our house. PNC, you dirty louse! Don't throw in Wong out of our house. PNC, you dirty louse! Don't throw in out of our house. PNC, you dirty louse! Don't throw in out of our house. PNC, you dirty louse! Don't throw in out of our house. PNC, you dirty louse! Don't throw in out of our house. PNC, you dirty louse! Don't throw in out of our house. No justice, no peace. 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 No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. White collar criminal. PNC white collar criminal. Yeah. PNC white collar criminal. 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 PNC. White collar criminals, 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 PNC. I think I like the ones. Uh, uh, some will rob you with a gun, and some with a fountain pen. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the only one, the ones with the gun go to jail, unfortunately. The ones with the fountain pen get uh, promoted. They wear uh, police <laughs> uniforms, they don't. Huh? Cops don't go to jail. Uh, oh, robbing people? Well, yeah, they do rob people. They, ro they like to rob um, drug yeah. dealers Cops. and prostitutes. That's who they want. Yeah, they rob uh, because they can, you know. Like. Don't let go into your house and take your stuff, you getting? They Especially if they think if you're selling pot or something. Right. They'll just go in there and take everything. If you're a person of color, you can get murdered. That case in New York is so... It's like that elderly gentleman with his uh, uh, emergency alert and they kill him in his house. That, that just... I, it's like this case, except she's luckily not dead. But I mean, is that so crazy? You can't believe that it's actually happened. Well, they uh, they let that guy die, and, his, and uh, he uh, the, the the guy who was murdered in uh, Anaheim, the second guy. Uh, he was um, rather than to provide him with first aid care, they actually let him die in handcuffs. Because they were too busy to try and buy cell phone video oh, that people were first, taking. It was, it was one of the one of them. They killed a guy. Then they killed the another guy. guy. Yeah. Yeah. And the second guy they killed, yeah, they had him for like three minutes in handcuffs on the ground dying while they were yelling at people to stop filming. Yeah, I thought that was the first guy. It doesn't matter. It's yeah. all very bad. It's all right. terrible. Well, there's going to be a solidarity march today at 6 p.m. from the uh, ferry building. Uh, it's a march in support. Uh, the Anaheim victims of police brutality. So uh, they should come down to the Hyatt because there's a demonstration at the Hyatt for the hotel workers from 4:30 to 5:45. Right, that's, San, so that's why we love living here in San Francisco. At the Hyatt here on Union Square. Right, uh, because uh, San Francisco is such a hotbed of activity, 
uh, political activity. Like, if you ever thought about coming to San Francisco, that's one of the reasons I live here. Is because I like being Are you recording everything? plugged in. I like being plugged in. Yeah, we're live streaming this on a bunch of different websites and whatnot. And that's why I like to live here so much. If you can put up with high rent, um, the crowded conditions, uh, San Francisco is definite uh, Eden for political activists and organizers. Uh, you'll find that the uh, general population is a little more uh, apt to support you in an event, and there's also a uh, well-established core of seasoned activists like myself and other people that have been organizing for many, many years to create change in society, positive social change in society. And this event is just one aspect of that. So uh, that's the way we do it here in the cool gray city by the bay. Uh, and we've been working at it for many, many years to make San Francisco and your community and communities in the United States and around the world a better place to live. Uh, for instance, uh, San Francisco is one of the few places, actually it's the only major city in the United States that has universal health care. Uh, you can't name another major city that does that. Not Oakland, not New York, not DC, only San Francisco. So, anyway, uh, there's Miss Wong right there, in case you're wondering who it is. Uh, she's a lady that's in the brown sweater giving a statement to Peter and another member of the press. Oh, I have And we're waiting right now on the PNC representative to come down and uh, talk to us. And in case you're, uh, you're wondering what your live streamer looks like, there you go. There's a picture in the mirror for you. You know, it's, good. it's funny how things like takes people a while to figure out how to get in the building. Yeah, well. Some of them, they get it right away. Other you're like, it's that way, it's that way. Because what is that? We condition to ignore everything that's going on. You know? that, like, we're not, I'm not trying to, I'm not shouting a slogan at them. I'm saying that's how you get into the building. They lock the main door. We're not even blocking the entrance. They, they lock the main door. Yeah, no. It's like, well, that's the way to get in. Well, people are scared. That way. That way. That way. Over here. Over here. Okay, well, just ignore me. Right, I'm pointing you in the right direction. It's easier to ignore us right. than to listen to us. You know? Yeah, it's right there. And that's how you get in the building. But no. No, no, no. No, no we don't no. exist as people, right? Yeah, exactly. We're nobodies. Well, that's all going to change. Well, I kind of like it that the police can actually ask me to move, but they can't make me move because I'm not subject to the uh, loitering laws and blocking the entrance laws. So they really don't have a way of arresting me or actually getting me out of the way unless I decide to do so voluntarily. One of the few benefits of uh, being disabled in a wheelchair. There's not many, but that's one of them. <laughs> Yeah, that's 6 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. So if you're out of our area, if you're on the East Coast, that would be 9. Uh, nine, 9 East Coast, 8 Central, 7 Mountain. And we'll be live streaming. Uh, so you'll have to go through that door to your right. There you go. Well, I don't even know why I'm helping out the security, but, you know, we really don't have it in for the people that are working in the... In the building here, uh, you know, we're not trying to scare anybody. We just like uh, PNC Bank to live up to their mortgage agreements and stop for these illegal foreclosures, uh, which in San Francisco, I uh, would be estimated at 86% of all foreclosures are illegal or the paperwork has been improperly filed. And that's just in San Francisco alone. Uh, and San Francisco keeps pretty runs a pretty tight ship when it comes to oversight of these mortgages. So if you live in another locale, uh, locale uh, that uh, you're, uh, you're SOL probably. Because uh, I would imagine that your local government is not as uh, on the uh, tip as San Francisco's is. But that's only because the, uh, the voting, uh, the voters and the residents of San Francisco 
push really hard to keep uh, to uh, institute change here in the city, and that's kind of why we enjoy things like medical marijuana and other things and other things that are we take for granted, but in your locality that you're not able to do because we have a tradition of activism here that goes back at least two cent or at least a century and a half, 150 years. So. Anyway, we're waiting here in anticipation to find out what the bank's going to tell us about uh, the what they're going to do to renegotiate Miss Wong's mortgage. And that's Miss Wong over there, uh, the Asian lady that's on the left that's uh, talking to the reporter. I believe she's with the, the Bay Guardian, if I'm not mistaken. Bay Guardian is generally a progressive uh, news weekly. Um, you can hit them at sfbg.com. They provide decent coverage. And I know that there's a few occupiers that also write for the uh, Bay Guardian. So uh, in case you wanted to know that. <laughs> over this way if you want. If you want to get in and got to go over to the right here. Uh, I got a security guard at the door. Okay, well, let's see. They have to go into the right hand door. Oh, somebody called. That door's locked. In. That door if you want to get in. To the right if you want to get in. Hope you're here for the protest. Oh, by the way, uh, let me get back to uh, upcoming uh, live streams. I mentioned the one at 6 p.m. tonight uh, for the uh, march in support of the victims of the Anaheim police brutality. Also, we're going to be at Univision, uh, the branch here in San Francisco tomorrow at 50 Fremont, and that's at 6 p.m. Uh, next Wednesday, we're going to be live streaming from uh, the Vapor Room at Hayden Steiner, and that'll be a march that's going to City Hall to uh, protest the closure of dispensaries here in San Francisco. And uh, I'll keep you updated as much as possible, and I'll put everything on the upcoming calendar at my uh, page uh, channel at ustream.tv slash channel slash Occupy San Francisco. So thanks a lot for being here and being patient. Uh, we're waiting for the uh, representative to come down from PNC Bank, which is up here on the 28th floor at 575 Market Street uh, to come and speak with us. So uh, please indulge us. And there should be somebody coming down here pretty soon. And I hope so because I feel that urge of nature's call. Is that right? Yeah, well, it's, I can I can wait a while, but we'll see. And I was so tired this morning, and before I came down here, I guzzled down this huge cup of cup of co cup of coffee. So if you want to get in, you go in the, to the right hand side. Right, they got a security guard there to let you in. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, nothing ever surprises me with people anyway. Especially the the depth of their. You know, we were talking about it right there. 
Yeah, the depth of their stupidity always amazes me. Go that way. No, no. Right, they'd rather ignore you. Yeah, I mean, you they'd know. rather make a mess of themselves ignoring you than just listen to what you have to say. Well, that's why I, that's why I like talking to kids and working with kids better because yeah, at least children will listen to you and they'll respect you. And, if you give them respect. Right, and you generally can communicate with them what you're trying to talk about or what you're doing. And it's a lot easier to teach and, and raise their awareness in general than it is with adults because adults always have this pre preconditioned thought in their mind about the way things should be rather than listening to what other people have to say. I'd like to believe right. it doesn't have to be that way, you know. I, yeah. Well, try to keep an open mind out there, folks. Yeah, exactly. Right. You know, it's like if these guys maybe were coming around with a little more open mind, they'd listen to us. And, you know, all I'm just saying is that's where the door is. Right. I'm sure if you're watching this live stream on any one of the channels we're mirrored at and websites that we're mirrored on, that you probably already have an open mind. Right. But uh, do, yeah, do remind your friends and neighbors and everything to keep an open mind and to make decisions for themselves. Like into their own hands and uh, don't listen you know question authority and don't believe what somebody else tells you just that's true just because they say that it's true um, one thing you can count here count on here on the live stream is that this is unentered unedited uncensored and we're trying to give you as a bigger picture about what is going on as possible with today's modern technology Oh yeah, me too. Ah. I always hate having to use the restroom. The problem here is that we're in downtown San Francisco and there is no restrooms. Unless I decide, well they won't let us into the building. And I don't have the key. I don't have the bathroom key. But enough if about that. Them, they'd be polite about it, man. You want me to go ask for it? Yeah, I'll, I'll make it. I only live. Nice thing about uh, live streaming here is I only live five blocks away. So it makes it easier for me to cover all these events because uh, in San Francisco, most of the action, uh, protest action, generally takes place of, uh, in the financial district because that's where most of the corporate evildoers are. And occasionally we'll have protests up by City Hall or the State Building or the Federal Building on Golden Gate. So those are the main hotbeds of uh, political protest here in San Francisco, in case you're interested. I'm glad for the lively chat too. Uh, most people I've had on this live stream uh, since I started it. Uh, but then again, uh, I've been uh, a little shy about promoting everything. Uh, but I'm getting, like I said, fitter. And the fitter I be, the more live streams you will see. So take that to the bank. But thanks uh, everybody for watching. Right. It's not making you bitter, right? Right. But don't uh, don't deposit any of your money in PNC Bank. Yeah. Right, put it in a credit union. You know, I noticed that uh, Lynn is wearing a Bank of America San Francisco Giants hat. Well, they give those out for free. Well, that's what I'm saying. Right. You know, like, it's like you want to support your local baseball team, you got to end up supporting a multinational bank. Right. The Bank of America is not really any better. You know? No, they're worse, actually. But all banks are guilty of illegal foreclosures. I believe Wells Fargo is the uh, number one illegal foreclosure here in San Francisco, but uh, I don't really have the statistics handy to, to back that up, but I, I would say that they would provide more mortgages here in San Francisco and the San Francisco Bay Area than any other uh, mortgage provider. So uh, basically it's all about pe keeping people in debt slavery, so they spend their whole life uh, paying uh, enthrall to these banks, paying these 30-year mortgages, uh, being forced to work at these crappy jobs, rates, right? Yeah, variable rates up and down. And you know, when you take out a mortgage on a on a million-dollar loan, which is about how much it costs to get a place here in San Francisco, a million dollars or better sometimes, uh, you're going to end up paying <laughs> million dollars to the bank. So uh, there you go. Thanks for being here and watching. Uh, we're waiting for the uh, PNC representative to come down and talk to us.
would advise a person in her position, where the bank is 100% wrong, she's 100% right, they would still advise her to get in and move out. Yeah, some people are inside, waiting here in the lobby. I like being outside myself. I don't want to be stuck inside of a building. Plus, it makes my stream would probably hang up if I was inside the building. So, I'm going to stay out here so I can give you a nice, clear picture about what's going on. I was remarking earlier, you know, the truth is, this is a really nice little you know, garden they've got going on here. Oh, yeah. It's too bad this is like a, you know, well, that's a center, centering ground for all kinds of elitist assholes. It's like a really nice little park. Yeah. Well, all the sheriffs do is, like, if there's a court order for eviction, they carry it out. The sheriffs don't do anything else. They don't, like, decide whether the court is right. But the, but the courts are supposed to look at the, the data. And these things always take longer. I noticed. Well, I could have hung out all night in Berkeley or uh, Oakland the other night when I was over there. I mean, but I decided to leave because there was no way I was going to keep up with that march. Yeah, we're waiting here for the PNC people to come back out. Uh, we'll see what happens. See if they're actually going to give uh, Ms. Wong a break and uh, renegotiate her mortgage for her and stop her foreclosure Uh Generally, they do, yes. Yeah, I think so. I'm hoping so. I mean, we got a whole bunch of people coming out to support her. It's pretty hard to ignore. No way the bank doesn't know we're here. Yeah. Yeah, they're not going to ignore us. And we got the SFP PD stepping out for a second. Uh, we should know what's going on in here in just a few minutes. Next door. For a little bit. You're fighting illegal foreclosures. Bank fraud going on in here. So you need to get pressure. You need to ask Grace to call me. She's the one around. Well, it seems like we're at least causing a little bit of uh, people are coming in. Yeah. Well, it's definitely not a normal day down here at 575 Market. Yeah, we're glad you're here with us. Um, they're, they're, I guess, I don't know if they came up from that, but they're from the senior center. Gotta go to the side door. Glad I brought a sweater here, or a jacket. We're quiet right now. Uh, we're waiting for the PNC representative to come downstairs. Or to let us know what's going on. Hopefully. Oh yeah, she's uh, she does write for the Bay Guardian. She wouldn't cut and rob any slack. <laughs> you got one of those uh, hot pink uh, the store right here. Yeah, there's security at this other door. They'll let you in. Yeah, thank God I don't work on it, you know? Well, I don't know. I've, I've worked in a lot of those, a lot of these downtown offices, and but I'm, I'm a different style of person. Uh, 
I actually enjoy it when in, I would go into work and there'd be some people outside protesting. Especially if we could hear it from the outside of our offices. That was always a big deal. When I was working down here, doing my time in wage slavery. Well, if I was going to go by the faces of the people that walk by. Yeah, they don't look too happy, most of them. They don't look happy in time. I I called them all and left messages, scathing messages. Well, yeah, yeah, if you try to call a PNC bank, they're not coming down. I know they're not. They're calling corporate headquarters and they're saying, don't deal with these people. Yeah, just leave them here. Well, they're going to have to deal with us sooner or later. Because I, uh, I'm pretty sure that these protests similar to this one are going to continue oh, yeah. and there's other actions uh, does anybody know what uh occupy bernal is, is planning uh for upcoming upcoming oh, actions they want to send the they want to send it out to uh to the live stream to let everybody know what's going on there we go i got somebody going over there grabbing somebody yeah because occupy, occupy bernal bernal <laughs> and ace do a lot of good work in defending uh people from foreclosures, uh, illegal foreclosures here in San Francisco, and that's OccupyBernal.org, B-E-R-N-A-L, OccupyBernal, B-E-R-N-A-L.org, and uh, you can go to ACE, which is A-C-C-E.org, the Alliance uh, for uh, Californians for Community Empowerment, and they also do a lot of great work in keeping people into their homes. And uh, maybe we can get somebody over here, maybe not. I asked, and they all sort of point fingers at each other. There. Oh. So we don't have a real. Do we have a pink? I got a pink one left. Here. Here you go. I'll take it. Okay, Thank you very much. Hey, buddy. Well, he's got it. I got one more. I'll take the last one. Yeah. Eat it. Hey, do you want to talk a little bit to these guys on camera? Hey, you want to talk about um, does Ace have or uh, or Occupy Bernal? Do you guys have more actions coming up that you'd like to? Uh, we have been, well, we have nothing particularly scheduled right now, but we will be continuing to be active. And if they try to evict this one from our home, we'll we certainly be there. Okay. Well, there's the daily auctions, but those are yeah, there's daily auctions. Stardust is there every day or almost every day fighting to stop people from being kicked out of their homes or having their homes sold out from under them. Okay. And you can go to occupybernal.org and uh, there's a list on the right hand side of the page of the uh, calendar listings of what they're doing. There is actually, there's a meeting tonight. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. I think oh, we're getting something here. Yeah, that's what I want to do. 
I was crying because there was no coffee. Um, but, um, you know, I don't think we're going to stop here because there's like everyone here that has been fighting for their neighbors. We've never stopped then and we're not going to stop now. So, we're right. not going to stop. There we go. Yay. So, it's good. Um, Thank you all, everybody. Oh, yes. Thank you. Last chance. Yes. We'll, we'll be here out. for you. One last chance. Sure. Do a chant in Chinese. <laughs> uh, let me back up a little bit here. I can always stand up so long. Sorry. What's a good chance to end? Oh, oh. All right, this looks like this is going to be the end of the, uh, the demonstration. Thank you all for watching. This is Clark Sullivan. And if you'd like to reach me or tweet me, I'm at Freeman Sullivan. F-R-E-E-M-A-N-S-U-L-L-I-B-A-N. You can email me at Freeman Sullivan at Gmail. Um, you can also, uh, uh, I don't really have the site totally launched yet, but you can go to activiststream.com. You can go to obau.org for more information, and you can go to occupybernal.org if you want to find out more about foreclosure defense. And uh, so, what day was that again? Saturday. Saturday at 10 a.m. 17. At Ace, Ace, Ace Office, 17, 17, 17th Street. Okay, and that's a meeting or a yeah, it's a meeting about the next step. Okay, right. thank you. All right. I'm going to be signing off here. Thanks for watching, and thank you for watching at Global Revolution, at Occupy Oregon, uh, Occupy Portland, at the Occupy Bay Area United, and uh, join me again today at 6 p.m., and I'll be down at the Ferry Building for the march in support of the Anaheim victims of police brutality. And this is Clark Sullivan signing off again, and thank you for watching.